Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I have another project pan update for you. So I'm going to be sharing the progress on the items that I'm focusing on throughout 2019. I have some exciting updates to share today. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay, before we get into some very exciting updates, let's start with some not so exciting updates. So before we get into my exciting updates, let's start with some that are a little bit less exciting. First, I have not hit pan on this blush yet. Are we surprised? I don't think anyone really thought I was going to hit pan on this blush by this update. And I'm starting to question if I'm ever going to hit pan on this blush. I don't know, you guys. Like we're get, We've got some big dips going on right there. And I've been wearing this a lot as eyeshadow. Not necessarily on its own, but kind of as that initial transition shade. I've been trying to work this into my routine a lot. Even on the days where I'm using a different blush, sometimes I'll kind of just dust this into the cheeks and along the temples just for some more warmth in addition to my bronzer. Like, I'm using this. I'm using it a lot, but I don't know, guys. And it's funny because I really thought that I would hit pan on this very quickly, which was part of my push to throw this in the project when I did swap out my blush. And it was actually because I saw Too Much Tash was talking about how long it takes to hit pan on different products and she shared a few blush comparisons and this was the one that she said was she hit pan on the fastest so I, in my head i was like this is going to be a breeze it is not a breeze we are struggling one that's not really as much of a struggle but i don't have a ton of progress to share is on this this just joined the project in the last month this is my naked cherry highlighting palette from urban decay i have loved having this in my project i'm wearing it today on my cheeks i'm wearing it a little bit on my shoulders and whatnot i love this highlight as I said in the last update, my only focus is really just on the highlighter shade. I'm not focusing too much on the blush or the duochrome, but the dip is actually pretty significant. You can definitely see it moving down. Cass is sitting right next to me making some snorting noises and whatnot, so if you can hear him, he's kind of been running around throughout this video, but that's him. He's sitting right here keeping me company, but this, I mean, I'm happy with the progress. Nothing, nothing to write home about, but it's not bad. But the moment you've been waiting for, I have finished my butter bronzer. It is gone. Take a good old look at that. Here, let me take a look at that. Just so beautiful. Just that empty pan, nothing there. This is such an accomplishment for me. I was starting to think I was never going to finish this up. This was one of the original products that I started with, and it's one of the few original products left. This is the only original product left, actually. Yeah, now that I'm looking down, this is the only product that is left from when I first started this project at the beginning of the year. Everything else I have finished already with the exception of one that I just decluttered. This was the last one for me to finish slash hit pan on or just achieve my goal. And I'm so proud of this. So I will have at least one item, wink, wink, joining the project. And I will save that for the end of the video. Cass is cracking me up right now. You can probably hear his little toes walking around because he's just kind of aimlessly wandering around because our cat Blue is sleeping in Cass's crate right now. Both my cats love to do that. They love to go in his crate. I don't know why. And Cass is like, that's my bed. What are you doing? I said, I don't know why. I do know why cats just love like boxes and small spaces and the crate has like a blanket over it so i think the cats are like ooh, an enclosed space for the hair care item in my project as you know i recently cycled in the pravana leave-in conditioner or leave-in treatment and i've used a decent amount of this just kind of this is a predictable update on this one we started up here now we're down to here it is not the most progress but also nothing to be disappointed by i feel like i can have this finished up in probably two months Sticking with spray products, this is my Ofra Makeup Fixer. I used way more of this in one month than I thought I would, you guys. We were way up here and now I'm down to here. I've been using this to set my face. I've actually been really enjoying spraying this onto a sponge and then dotting it into my skin like that because the sprayer on it can be a little bit intense. It's nice and fine, but it's a little bit aggressive. So sometimes I like to just do it on a sponge and then go from there. This is also a great product to wet my brushes with. That's what I've been using it for as well. So way better progress on this than I was expecting. I really thought we'd only be like halfway to where we are now. So I'm very happy with that. A very exciting update. I have finished my Fenty Gloss Balm. I cannot believe it. Actually, I can totally believe it. What am I saying? I'm so excited, but it makes total sense because this was always in my purse. I was always reapplying it. And I've gone to the point where every time I apply it, I'm like scraping the sides and I'm like, you know what? 
it's done, I did it, and I just feel so accomplished because I know that had I not thrown this in the project, it would still just be sitting in my drawer or in the bottom of a purse somewhere with the exact same amount of product. I wouldn't be finishing it up. So because I put it in a project pan, I was able to finish it up actually in a very decent amount of time. So I feel great about that. And the funny thing about this is it is a mini, but I've said so many times, Fenty gives you such great value with this product because the mini is the same size as a standard full-size lip gloss, and the full size of this is significantly larger than other full-size lip glosses. So even though it looks tiny, this is essentially a full-size lip gloss that I finished up. So I feel good about that. One that we are so close to, but I think it's gonna be at least another month, probably just one more month. I really think that by my next update, this will be all the way done, but this is the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. So I put my mark down here and we started up here. So you can kind of see that progress, but I've gotten to the point where I mentioned this last month, when I use the pump, it doesn't take a lot of it up because there's very little progress or product left. So a lot of times I have to do like two, what is the word I'm looking for? Two, I have to touch this button twice. I have to remove the product, apply it to my face and do that again. I, there's a word, but it's not coming to me, but I have to do that twice just to get enough product. Whereas previously I could just do that once. So we're getting there but not yet. So I'm feeling fantastic about the progress of those few items, especially these two that I finished up. I'm so excited about. I had a feeling they might be done by this month, but I still just feel such a sense of relief. And again, this one is so close that it's probably gonna be done by next month. So we're, we're moving along very well. But what that means is I will be rotating two new products into the project. So now let me share with you what those two products are. Actually, before I share them, I forgot to mention, I tried to talk about this in the beginning, but I'm also working on a skincare project pan. I've done two updates for that already, so I'm gonna leave both of the updates linked in the description box down below. So if you love project panning as much as I do and you'd like to watch one that's exclusively skincare focused, you can check that one out. Update on that one, I think I might end that in a month or two because I, as I said in the beginning, that one I didn't have a specific end date for the way I do for this project. So just a little update on that. I think I'm going to kind of work through those and then be done in a month or two. But if you haven't seen the intro or the update, they'll be in the description box. But with all that behind us, the first product that will be joining the project is this little mini. And I'll give you a spoiler alert. The second product is a mini also. And I kind of have a method to my madness when I'll hop into that. But this is the ambient lighting powder in diffused light from Hourglass. So the reason that I wanna focus on this is because I spent $22 on it and I never use it. So I wanna to try to get some use out of it. I'm never reaching for this. And I think there are times when I prevent myself from using it because I'm like, it's so tiny. I spent a decent amount of money on something this small. I don't wanna use it up. But that's why I like project painting because I have to get myself out of that mindset because it doesn't make sense to treat my makeup like that. I need to be using things. I need to be getting use out of them. So that's why I wanna focus on this. I said before, I don't understand the hype around these powders, but with that being said, I don't dislike it. It's not going to be annoying for me to use it up. It's not going to be a punishment or anything. I'm gonna use it the way I would any other powder, but I'm gonna work on this. I think this should go quickly because there's hardly any here, but you guys let me know. If you've ever panned one of these, whether it be mini or full size, how long did it take? What was your experience? Let me know. And then finally, I wanted to do another lip product to directly replace this lippy from Fenty, which actually was also a mini. So I'm going to be adding in my Milk Makeup Cream Lipstick. Well, the shade is called Cream. And they actually discontinued this formula and replaced it with a new formula. So that's a good reminder to me that I've had this for a while and I wanna be working through it. But this is all that I have. This is such a tiny amount of lipstick that I should be able to work through it pretty quickly. I did go ahead and mark it on this paper and you guys will see that in the close up. I mean, there's not a lot here. If I can't finish this in a few months, we have a problem. I really think that this should be done in one to two updates. A nice thing about cream lipsticks, if you are trying to pan them, you can also use these as a cream blush, especially right now in the summer, if you're interested in using those very lightweight cream products, try using some of your bullet lipsticks as that, and you'll kind of work through them a little bit faster, get a nice monochromatic look. But 
I hope you guys enjoy hearing this update for my 2019 rolling project pan. I feel so great about the project, you guys. And the fact that I just finished the final original product from this project makes me just feel even that much better about it all to know that every single product that I started with in January, with the exception of that foundation, which I decluttered, everything else I have now finished up and or hit pan on, which was my goal. So thank you for following along with this series. If you're enjoying it, give it a thumbs up. I'll have my entire project pan playlist in the description box, and I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye.